Hey guys, it's Nicole and I'm back and I just want to show you my four and six year olds work boxes for December 7th through December 18th. Stay tuned. So jumping right into my six year olds math. Um, he has these. These are um, word problems. These are Christmas themed word problems that he will have to solve. There are 11 boys, 13 girls, and one teacher in my class. I want to give each person a holiday card. How many do I need? So they, he would do addition on that. I gave away 13 gifts to Christmas. At Christmas I received four more than I gave. How many did I receive? So on and so forth. So there's about eight of these. Um, really cute. Um, Christmas themed, holiday themed borders on those. And then he's going to de now solve them on this sheet. And I laminated this sheet so it can be reused. So winter story problems and he'll solve each problem and show his work in each box for each, for each word problem. So Singapore mathematics, we are continuing. He's still on 2A. Um, but this is the extra practice book. So I decided that we will do some extra practice with um, addition and subtraction, three digit numbers and um, regrouping or carrying numbers. So we'll be working on that. And then we're gonna do these again because he really enjoyed them. Um, this is from a tutor box, um, Understanding Time second grade tutor box. And what he's going to do is he's gonna solve these word problems about time. And I have two different kinds here. I have one that talks about the bus schedule. You need to catch the Blue Line bus to Smith Road. You finish stopping in town at 345. What time will you need to get the Blue Line bus? And here is the schedule for him to reference to solve each one of these. So this is really great for life skills and for just um, understanding time and um, critical thinking. And here's another one about Mr. Smith's second grade class schedule and the problems that go along with that. And I include... Um, a clock so he can reference that if he needs to. For his language arts, we I picked up this writing prompts journal for grades one through two from Lakeshore Learning this week. I got it on sale for two oh nine because the cover is supposedly damaged. It looks fine to me. Um, <laughs> what we're gonna do is we're gonna see how we can incorporate this into our um, our language arts for the next couple of weeks. Just a slow introduction into that. Again, he has his spelling notebook that goes along with his language arts too for Christian light education. This week, we'll start off learning about statements and questions, the difference between a statement, a question, um, and we also had phrases and sentences. Statements, questions, phrases, and sentences. Here is a um, uh, activity and writing prompt on how to build a snowman. I saw a printable similar to this online. I just decided to recreate it to conserve ink, how to build a snowman. So what he'll do is he'll actually, I gave him the pieces of how to build a snowman or some things he can use to build a snowman, the circles, the hat, um, some pom-poms, googly eyes, things like that, little pieces of paper that he can use for arms. And then he's going to go through the process of building a snowman and then write about it. So this is a nice little writing activity prompt um, with a hands-on learning aspect. And then I have these snowmen. And on these snowmen are a variety of of um, wintertime words, um, snowflake, snowboard, mitten, snowman, marshmallows, chocolate, um, so on and so forth. He has to alphabetize the snowmen. And what I was careful to do was include a lot of words that be had S had snow in it so that he can learn how to alphabetize words that have similar beginnings and by moving down the word and finding out what letter comes next in the alphabet and alphabetizing those. In his classical, classical sorry, conversations um, drawer this week, we have um, his notebooking um, binder, which he'll continue to work on that. Um, we also have this week in science for classical conversations. Uh, last week, actually, we wrapped up week 12, and right now we're actually on a break for classical conversations until January when our co-op meets again. But we're doing a review of some of types of plant systems, photosynthesis, transpiration, and respiration. So he'll be reading this book on the cycle of the science of photosynthesis. 
Um, and for review, I have this flip book here that pretty much breaks down the entire program of classical conversations by week. And we'll go through that in, in each block. There's um, the t headings that we cover, timeline, math, history, geography, science, Bible, Latin, and English. Um, so we'll go through this and what we'll do is we'll play a game referencing this flip book. Um, we have our gingerbread men that has each topic and then I have the die. So pretty much we'll roll the die to determine um, which week we'll do and then um, he will, I'll flip these over and we'll draw randomly fan them out for him to pick one and then we'll cover that topic. So that's a little review game that we'll be doing for classical conversations while we're on break. In our elective drawer, we always have our social studies, Christian Light Education Social Studies, our Christian Light Education Bible, and our My Plate Nutrition Education um, workbook. So pretty much I have um, these available for him so that he will go through one topic a day and work in that. And for reading, as always, we have our Lakeshore Learning Readers log book. And this week we'll be reading Encyclopedia Brown um, and the case of the secret pitch. We got a series of these books called Encyclopedia Brown from um, Grandma and I think he'll like them because he's into chapter books now and he's into books that deal with you know things about being a boy and you know boys his age so I think he's gonna really enjoy that book. For my four-year-old we're jumping back into our Singapore math early bird kindergarten mathematics we had taken a break from it for a little bit because I felt like some of the activities were really really simple and really easy for him um, like patterning and cutting and pacing and stuff but I've skipped him ahead and we'll, we're starting to work on some um, some basic math like how we've been focusing on so just to keep in mind if you have a kid who might be in preschool kin um, the kindergarten for Singapore math tends to be really slow in the beginning so um, it's more of a review I guess of basic skills and concepts that your younger ones can learn and then eventually it evolves so we're going back into this and of course we love it because it's very colorful um, and fun to look at but again in the beginning it's very very basic eventually we're moving on to um, comparing more or less and um, measurement so that's what we'll be doing this is a cute little um, dry erase activity book that I bought for him in the beginning of the school year my big activity workbook it covers counting numbers math tracing sorting colors um, spelling letters puzzles uh, and what we'll do is work on the math section of it so I have it opened up to the math section and you use a dry erase marker with this and here it's really cute because it starts off with just basic counting and really for him it's just about practicing his handwriting for his numbers with this part and then it moves on to addition and subtracting basic addition and subtracting um, subtracting and adding groups and um, it goes up to addition and subtraction um, adding to 10 and subtracting to 5 so um, and doing halves of numbers and stuff so it's really cute it's a really nice activity book that he'll be working in um, if you follow me on Instagram you saw that my four-year-old was working on this this week this is a printable from confessions of a homeschooler and pretty much he's matching the number words because we're learning our number sight words I threw this in with his math but technically this could be used for language arts or math because he's using learning his math I mean his his number sight words so what he'll do is that we'll line these up and he will match um, the number word to the appropriate number um, of items here and last but definitely not least this is a super cute printable these are little hot cocoa cups and they are numbered um, I have them 1 through 10 here and what we'll be doing is we'll be doing number bonds with these and instead of using actual marshmallows we're using cotton balls so what he'll do is he'll put out six cotton balls on here and then we'll talk about different ways that we can make six we can separate the cotton balls or marshmallows into three and three into one and four five um, into four and two so on and so forth and I actually have a number bond sheet um, that we'll use with it so that he can get an idea we'll put the little co uh, cocoa cup at the top and put our marshmallows in the circle so that should be really cute activity as well and definitely last but not least I have these um, little snowmen um, numbered skip counting by twos to 20 that he'll be putting in order as well as he's learning how to skip count by twos 
continuing on with his sight words we have this my first words get ready for kindergarten book that has sight words in it he likes to trace the sight words and we just color pictures and um he'll answer questions about sight words in there this is an activity where he's going to find these marshmallows which have sight words on them so we're going to be doing a scavenger hunt with that hopefully if it's not too it should be pretty warm this week it should be in the upper 50s and 60s so we'll be able to run around outside with that and it's similar to one that he had before with the squirrels if you followed me for a while you know that there was one with the squirrel mask and he found the um, acorns that had sight words on it this one has this really cute um peppermint <laughs> these peppermint goggles that he'll strap onto his head and he'll run around and he will find his sight words and when he finds them he can either um, he'll be checking them off of this list when he finds them so that'll be really cute another thing that I can't wait for him to do this week um, another thing he's moving on to his am words he did his ad what words did he did he did ag and ad words and now he's moving on to am words this week so we will be studying this list and as he learns them we'll be checking them off and he loves checking off his words and then as always we have our um handwriting without tears that we do for practicing handwriting and for classical conversations this week, as I said with his brother, we're learning about um, plant systems, photosynthesis, transpiration, and respiration. And so I'll be reading to him this book called Living Sunlight, How Plants Bring the Earth to Life, which talks about plant systems. Very colorful, beautifully illustrated book, which is really good for younger kids like him. Um, and then we'll be talking about systems of photosynthesis. Pretty much I'll just have him just draw a picture of what it, what it looks like to him after I explain it to him. In the elective work box, it really hasn't changed. We're still doing our My Plate curriculum and food groups, reinforcing it with more activities in the workbook, as well as um, a continuation of our social studies unit on being the having similarities and differences with different cultures and our um, matching up our landmarks with our big map of the world. And finally for reading, I'll be reading him the 12 days of Christmas before we start our reading lessons. He likes to be read to too because it kind of eases him into the reading lesson. Then he'll be reading from, um, these are two new Bob books from the Advancing Beginners um, series. Um, there's a Beginners series and there's an Advancing Be Beginners series. So he'll be reading Rub-A-Dub, Fun in the Sun. And then we'll be doing our teacher child how to read in 100 easy lessons. We actually took a break from this for a couple of weeks and we're jumping back in. Um, and I feel like now that we've started back up, he has really been better able to to phonetically put things together. It's, it's weird. Um, I think by doing the sight words in the word families, it has really helped him with that. So now he's really just blending um, his words together a lot more easily for this. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed our somewhat winter theme, Christmas theme um, work boxes for the next um, two weeks. After this, we'll be switching up to all Christmas related um, holiday crafts and activities and just a whole bunch of fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed my work boxes for this week. Okay, guys, bye.